Hello and welcome back to another video from Gerba Camper Vans. Now today we're going to be talking all about Volkswagen factory optional extras. So that's all the things like cruise control, additional windows, air conditioning. We'll talk a little bit about different packs that you can buy and I'll show you what they all look like. So first thing we'll do is jump into a van and start talking about the packs, give you a little tour and see what's all included. So when you buy a brand new van from Volkswagen, you can basically spec it to whatever spec you'd like based on the options available on their option sheet. Now, at Gerba, all of our camper van packages start with a base vehicle, which is a 110 brake horsepower manual diesel van, and it comes with front swiveling seats, the additional leisure battery fitted by Volkswagen, and the charge relay all fitted there too. We find 110 brake horsepower to be more than enough in a van, but if you do want something a little bit faster or you want something with a bit more torque, maybe you're pulling a trailer or you've got horse box, that kind of stuff, there are other options on the sheet. So you could upgrade to a 150 brake horsepower engine and you can get that in a manual, in an automatic and a four wheel drive. They're all options. And then if you want even more power, you've got the 204 brake horsepower engine, which only comes as an automatic, but you can have it as a four wheel drive. Now, all of these options will add cost to the price of the van. And if you do want to see any of these prices, jump onto our website on any of our conversion pages, you will be able to download a brochure and in that you'll have the full up-to-date Volkswagen options list with all the pricing right on there. Now there are other things to consider here too. So you've got short wheelbase and long wheelbase van, also the option for a high top and different options and different extras come with different load ratings. So you've got the T30, T32 for example, and what that basically means is the gross weight that the vehicle can be. So the T32 will have slightly stiffer springs to take a greater weight that sort of thing. So those are all the transmission options, engine, that kind of thing. And you basically just really need to know what your needs are and you'll match your camper van or your transporter van to those needs. So what about body and chassis? What about styling options, that kind of thing? Well, so let's go back outside and have a little look at some of those options. On the body, you do have options Obvious ones like your paint color. So this is a new T6.1 color. It's gray, it's my favorite color, love it. But there are loads of colors to choose from. And I'll actually, I'll spin you around and show you our color board just now. You can see here the full T6.1 color range. And there is a really good resource on the Volkswagen Commercial Vans website. It's their van builder. You can actually go on and you can build your van full spec. You can add in all the extras. It'll give you a running total of what it would cost you. And you can see what it looks like with alloy wheels without them different colors of paint. So I'll link that below, definitely check that out. Other things that you can customize, so to speak, things like the bumpers. So this has a high lane pack, which we'll talk about later, but that basically means it comes with these color coded bumpers. Now you don't have to have them as part of the pack. You can just, you can just have the optional extra of having color coded bumpers. But if you didn't have the color coded bumpers, you would basically get a black plastic bumper. It's a more commercial look, still really, really nice but some people choose to have this as an option. Now, other things that you can have, such as tinted windows, so you can have privacy windows in the back, you can get a tint on the ones down the side. And again, you can have your side windows, the ones just behind me, opening or fixed windows. It's nice to have the opening windows if you wanna get a bit of fresh air in and out of your van, and they do work really well with the Gerber mid screens that we produce. Now, other things that you can have on the outside of the van, things like tow balls, so Volkswagen will factory fit a fixed tow ball or also a removable tow ball. A little bit of difference in cost there, but they're both really, really good. And there's two more options to think about here. One is power latching on your sliding door. So when you slide it shut, as soon as it connects with the lock, the power latching engages and it actually just closes the door yourself. A nice little upgrade. Another thing are mud flaps. So if you like the mud flap look, Volkswagen will supply your van with mud flaps. What about comfort and convenience? All of those extra buttons you might have on the dashboard. Well, let's jump into another van and go through all of those. So the dashboard in the T6.1 does actually look really, really great. It's classic Volkswagen styling. It's like all the new Volkswagens. It's really timely. It looks absolutely fantastic. And there are some great options that you can have in the dash on the steering wheel. The first thing you might want to consider is something that Volkswagen called the cab comfort pack. And that basically upgrades the dashboard, the doors to have little cubby holes. So you get a couple of extra cubby holes here and there. You get things like vanity mirrors in the sun visors. 
You also get little things like the reading lights. So instead of having one big light there, you basically got main light and you've got little reading lights. So it's quite a nice little feature. It will also come with these little 12 volt charging points. Now the T6.1 is a USB-C. Seems to be the way the world's moving just now. They're upgrading to the new type of USB connection, but they're nice and fast and they work really, really well. The comfort pack also comes with the grab handles on the side, and it does also come with quite an unusual feature, which is a two-tone horn. So essentially it's meant to make your horn sound a little bit better. And one really important feature that's included in the comfort pack is additional sound deadening in behind the panels and behind the dash, just to make the road noise a little bit quieter. And that can be a really good thing if you're not using your van as a commercial vehicle, it's gonna be your daily driver or your camper van and you're gonna be doing long distances in it. It's nice to have any kind of option that will reduce road noise in your van. It's like any car, any van, any bus you're on, you want it to be nice and quiet so you're comfortable when you're driving. Now the next options are for the floor and as standard the T6.1 comes with a heavy duty rubber flooring and that's because it's commercially based but there is the option to upgrade to a really nice black carpet floor, really nice finish. Now there are options such as adaptive cruise control and also air conditioning which are more typical options that are available and you can also have heated front seats and folding wing mirrors so there are some really nice little options there. So what about safety and security? Well, there are lots of options available to make your van a little bit safer to drive and a little bit more secure when you're parking up. So I'll read a few off the sheet. And the first one is quite an obvious one. We've got the Thatcham Category 1 Rated Alarm, which is an important option for obvious reasons. And if you've got a camper van, it's your pride and joy. You might want to take out that option just to make sure it's a little bit more secure. Now, in terms of lighting, you can upgrade your headlights to have LED lights. They're a little bit brighter. And you do also have the option of additional front fog lights too. Now, for those who like a little bit of help with their parking, there's the option of front and rear parking sensors. And you can also have uh, rear reversing camera too. Now there is a cool optional extra from Volkswagen for the tech head and it is the front and rear auto park assist. Now what this basically does is it will take control of the steering wheel when you put your van into reverse and you basically just control the foot pedals and the van will do the rest. It will reverse parallel park you right into the space and get you right on the spot every time. We do also have two other new options with Volkswagen T6.1. One is the high beam assist, and that's basically if you're on high beam, uh, the, the van will recognize cars coming towards you and it will dip the beam for you automatically. We also have the traffic sign recognition. So basically what the van is doing is it's recognizing traffic signs and it's gonna inform you as the driver on the dashboard what's coming up. The last option on the safety part of the sheet is the first aid kit and it comes with a warning triangle and a high-vis jacket. Nice thing to have in the boot, you never know when you're going to come into an emergency and you might need these things. So let's talk about the radio and the upgraded Discovery navigation system that you can have for that. So this is the standard radio that comes in the Volkswagen T6.1 and it is fantastic, it does look really really good and it's got all the features that you could ever want in there. So you've got your radio so you can go through your FM channels or you've got digital there, you've got DAB, you've also got the media so you can insert an SD card and you've also got Bluetooth connectivity there so you can go into the phone, connect up your phone, play your music that way and you can also use things like Mirrorlink, CarPlay, all in the App Store. You need to connect to your device via USB to use these and we go into menu, we've got all the typical settings that you want we can go in and have a little look at the van data, so vehicle status, tire pressure, loss indicators, those sort of things. We can have a look at our MPG, our average mile per hour, that kind of thing. So it's really, really nice. And we also have the voice setting here. So if you're connected up to your phone, you can voice control the radio. So it's really, really good. Integrated with the clocks too, so you can, you can see what's happening here over here. It's really, really nice. What we'll do next is we'll show you the upgrade to this system. It's a little bit fancier. It's got the navigation system. It's a really nice unit too. And we'll jump in another van and see that now. So if you want to upgrade your radio from Volkswagen, you've got this one, which is the Discover Media Satellite Navigation System. It's what they call it on the option sheet, but it's basically the upgraded radio. And you can see that it's an entire glass screen. So the full screen is a touch panel and we'll just turn it on. Now the software looks quite similar when it's on. It's all got the same styling. Um, we've just got the touch buttons to jump through. Whoa! Similar setup, we can connect up our Bluetooth and we've got all those sort of options in there. And again, we've got phone and voice, so we can connect up all of those things that you need. 
Now, this one does come with the full 2D navigation system. It's a full navigation map, just as you would expect, and it's really, really good. Now, it's not connected up just now because this is a brand new van, but it essentially gives you an idea of what that looks like. Again, we've got the app menu, so we've got a little example of what's happening there, and we can see our vehicle status two, tire pressure monitoring system, and again, jump back into the menu. So different style externally and very similar on the inside, but with the navigation, it's a really, really nice optional extra, and it really does complement the dash well. Next, we'll go have a look at the wheels and tires. As standard, your van will come with steel wheels and you'll get these nice little Volkswagen hub covers here. Volkswagen do have an option for a full hub cap and it will make it kind of look like it's got alloy wheels, but it will be a steel wheel in behind it. The steel wheels do actually look really quite nice and they are rated for the van, so they drive really, really well with the appropriate tires on them. With alloy wheels, you do have the option from Volkswagen to upgrade to the 16 inch Clayton alloy wheels. They come as standard in the Highline pack. Now you can't have them if you're getting a T32 because they're not load rated, but I'll show you what they look like. So if you are to upgrade your wheels to the alloy wheels, this is what they look like. These are the 16 inch Claytons. They're really, really nice. They look great on the van. Now there also is another option for the all weather tires. So Volkswagen will fit all weather tires from the factory. The all weather tires that they fit are really, really good. Some people say that there's no need for four wheel drive in the van. All you need is a good set of all weather tires and it'll pull you out of any of those grassy places and drive really, really well over that rough terrain. So I'm not sure about that, but we have heard people talk about it in the Gerber Camper Van Owners Group. So it's something worth noting. The last extra on the sheet is for an extended warranty and the Volkswagen vans and the Gerber conversions both come with a three year warranty. Now you can extend that up to five years and there's two options, one which is two years or 80,000 miles or another option which is two years or 150,000 miles and for cover for the extra mileage there's obviously a little bit extra cost but there are options for extended warranties right there on the option sheet. There are three packs that you can get so there's obviously a lot of options and Volkswagen do make it quite handy for you they give you packs there are two packs, they give you the high lane pack and they also give you the business pack. What these are are basically collections of options and you get quite a big discount when you choose these packs. An example of this is the high lane pack, the most popular pack done by Volkswagen. And that has factory options that total up to about £6,000 in value if you were to do them individually. But to add that as one option, it's £4,500 right now and these prices do change, so make sure you have the most up-to-date prices. Brexit and all these things have made an impact on pricing, and they have been moving a little bit. But in the Highline pack, in a short wheelbase, you basically get cab comfort pack, body-coloured bumpers and mirrors, so colour-coded stuff, front and rear parking sensors, the light and vision pack, which is auto lights and auto front wipers, you get the adaptive cruise control, electronically controlled dashboard air conditioning, front and cornering fog lights, you get rear privacy glass, electric folding windows, the Thatcham Category 1 alarm system, heated front windscreen, upgraded bricks seat fabric, which is quite nice, and the alloy wheels. Now the business pack is a similar thing, it's just a lot cheaper and it has a lot less options included in it. And that is dashboard air conditioning, rear parking sensors and the Thatcham Gagri 1 alarm. What Volkswagen have basically done there is bundled a few popular options together based on the demand that they get and they've made it a little bit more affordable for the customer. Like I said before, if you do want the most up-to-date full Volkswagen factory options sheet, you can go onto our website and you can download it straight to your inbox from there. If you go to any of our van layouts, the Tyree, Cromarty, Sana, Taranze, Jura, you can just click the download brochure button, put in your details, and that'll take you through to a page where you can download all of our brochures. You can download the factory options brochure, and you can also download our fact sheet, which compares all our camper vans. Also, if you haven't done so, please make sure to join the Gerba Camper Van Owners Group on Facebook. We've got loads of fun stuff going on there just now. And we hope that you've enjoyed this video. Please leave a like or a comment. Let us know what you think because it really helps us grow the channel. We've been bringing in loads of new people to the channel recently, which is fantastic. It makes it absolutely worth all the work that we do. So yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much.